The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McTwat Waffle, and alongside me, as usual, are two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Nice round of applause there, all you people here in the studio. I'm going to tell you something right now, you son of a bitch. I'm not going to fall prey to your ambushed journalism. <laughs> all right? Fine. Watch your ass. Uh-huh. I'm going to kick it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but uh, because uh, Derek is uh, doing the baseball stuff, uh, we have another guest, which uh, we had on a couple weeks ago. Um, excellent stand-up comedian Yeah, what do you mean well? another guest? We got the same old fucking guest. Same, same guy. Just, I mean, blow yeah. the cobwebs off his asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Done. Uh, ex- Check. <laughs> Time to fuck him again. <laughs> Excellent stand-up comedian, uh, J.P. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> yeah. Gotta love it. So, so happy to have you here. Hey, man. So happy to be back <laughs> so soon. I know. It's nice. Uh, I like Breaks Away from Derek. It's always fun. Uh, but anyways, guys, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff to go over this uh, week. We've got some uh, some sports, more news, I guess. It's kind of a dead time other than like the NHL playoffs and stuff. Uh, we got real shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, and some questions in Preguntas, also with a, another great draft. And as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to that kind of stuff, we're going to start off with what happened to us over uh, the last week. Um, so yeah, we call this our week, week recap. And uh, JP, you're going to start it off. All right. Well, yeah. I've had an awesome week. Yeah. It's been really, really good. Yeah? Uh, no. No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, I'm going to be homeless by Saturday. Oh, fuck. That's right. Yeah. You haven't fucking... No. Oh, God damn it. I hate it. And you know what? It's okay. I probably deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I done fucked yeah. up somewhere. Most homeless people do. They do. Yeah. And I've always thought that. Yeah. I've always <laughs> thought that. Ah. So... So just drive by your favorite on-ramp on your way to work. But when you see me standing out there, <laughs> throw me a couple bucks because it could be you next. And that's really, you know, it's a PSA really is why yeah. I wanted to come on here today. <clears throat> if my wife wasn't but, so uh, homophobic, I'd say you can live with us. But Oh, but you know, <laughs> yeah. she knows that you couldn't resist me. <laughs> well, She's she, not stupid. Yeah, she has yeah. a real tendency to try and turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's really her only flaw. <laughs> <laughs> She'll make you kneel down, pray it away. Yes, uh, that's right. No, I uh God bless her. Had a had a barbecue on Memorial Day as one does. Oh uh, yeah. Had a lot of fun. Uh used a few illicit drugs. Maybe, oh, maybe oh. too many because oh. uh man, I'm gonna tell you. Yesterday, I had so much that I was going to do to get ready to move into my car. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I didn't get any of it done. I just laid in bed all day oh, and wow. watched Netflix Yeah, because I didn't feel it, man. Yeah. I, was up, I was up to like, yeah, yeah, the wee hours of the morning yeah, doing things with dudes. Uh, that's great. Sounds like a great so, time. Uh, but other than that, I saw the new Top Gun movie. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to let you give your review the, at the same time when Jeremy does, because we know from last week, Jeremy went to go see Top Gun. So yeah. when, when Jeremy from get, last week, yeah, I just told you that in private that I was going to, that was oh. on the show. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Sorry. Don't spoil. Sorry. Now you're giving away secrets. Jesus. Why don't oh, you just man. open you the whole curtain anything, for these assholes? Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, God. we we can get to, uh, Jeremy always does a review and then you can say what you uh, thought okay. about that movie. You got I'm, it. A, I'm actually interested in hearing what JP has to say. So let's say it now. And okay. So that way I can 
slam it down. <laughs> okay, go uh, ahead. What did you think of, of the new Top Gun movie? I liked it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Um, I was. I thought the reason I think I thought it was good though is because it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because I thought it was going to be just really over the top cheesy and really bad effects. But really, it was. It was. They did a pretty good job. I. I was pleasantly surprised. Okay. And there were shirtless guys in it, so uh, yeah, I that's mean, right up that's alley. yeah, that gives it one extra bump right there. So yeah. I liked it. I would see it again in. 10 years cool uh i did not go and see it so i do not have an opinion how about you jeremy what do you think uh i thought it was good not great okay uh, i know a lot of people are thinking it's great here's here's what i'm burdened with is that i'm smarter than everyone else <laughs> <laughs> uh on this particular subject it is kind of true i've worked in aircraft for 24 years i know a lot more about aviation than the average person does and so i know that there were so many things in there that while they tried to you know, they claim they tried to make it super realistic. Uh, it was I just thought that was fucking weird. nonsense. Thought it was just fucking nonsense. Hmm. Uh, the very first part when he came out and uh -huh. was that not weird? Uh, it, it was, was cringy. Totally fucking impossible. Yeah. If we're talking <laughs> was, about the same yeah, thing, we are. Um, yeah. yeah, they they uh, they allude to something early in the movie that at least I immediately went. Okay, that's how it's going to end. I, I know exactly what's going to happen, and it did. Um, <laughs> and then it did. But uh, as, as anybody who who has ever seen the trailers can tell, um, they use uh, they they make it a point to say that they could use F thirty fives, which are the F the Navy's like brand new like most current fighter jet. But they thought that uh, F A eighteen Hornets would be a better choice. Without giving a fucking reason for that. Yes, that and that it. is absolute <laughs> nonsense. There is absolutely nothing that the FA-18 Hornet does better than the F-35. And uh, the, the whole reason behind it, which I later found out, is the F-35, they shot all the scenes, the flying scenes, like with them in actual cockpits uh -huh. while they were flying. And the because uh, real Navy pilots were like in the back seat. Oh. And then they CGI'd them out. Uh, F-35 is a single-seat oh, fighter jet, yeah. so they couldn't have real pilots in there with them. <clears throat> so, okay. uh, yeah, that explains a huge plot hole that, <laughs> that they literally could not come up. They, they address it and made the and biggest then, bullshit yeah, point, yeah. and then it's like, then, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd just be better to use... 18. I, I, I've been, this I've, out of date plane that we're about to retire. It, yeah, let's use that. I've been told. It's nostalgic. Mm -hmm. I've been told that, that uh, I think the F 35 or whatever you were discussing is uh -huh. like one of the most amazing aircrafts uh, ever made. Like it is so dominant as far as military military it, use it is unlike anything <clears throat> the the maneuvering capabilities on it the the engine can, can completely gimbal like turn right side up so it can take off straight up if it has to it can do acrobatics in the air that i never thought was possible <laughs> it's you don't need a line of sight to shoot targets down you can shoot them away down from miles away uh it's it, it, it's the, nice. the the technology involved with it is needless to say if he ever wins the lottery he's gonna get he's one, gonna get yeah, one. <laughs> he's gonna get one uh nice. the lottery won't cover that that's that's probably another reason why they didn't use them you're talking about four billion dollar jets uh yeah we're not going to use those as your movie prop <laughs> we'll give you the junkers out back okay yeah, take, How about the, take the f-18 the f-18s which are amazing aircraft uh, in their own right those are the navy's jalopies <laughs> <laughs> you can have all those you want. Mm -hmm. Crash them all. Yeah. We don't care. We're just going to throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, uh, I had a great week, by the way. Um, sounds very interesting. Uh, my I, week. I, I didn't actually do my week other than just that I, one part. I, I was going to go. I, I got it. Yeah. You were commenting on my week, I oh, thought, no, and no. I haven't given my week. I was pointing to JP, not you. Quit thinking is, everything's always about you, Jeremy Joseph. Is, Jesus is, Christ. Is it? Uh, <sighs> no, Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. Not Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, but anyways, I had a uh, I had a very eventful week. Obviously, we had uh, Memorial Day. Or I'm sorry, um, yeah, Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mix up Memorial Day and Labor Day all the fucking time, and I, I apologize they're for that. They're definitely not the same. No, they're definitely not. Um, Memorial Day is in May. Okay, fair. M M. Okay, I'll I'll remember it. Is uh, what's, my pleasure. When's, when's Labor Day? Uh, that's in September. Okay, all right, cool. Anyways, no, barbecue S. for both. Yeah. Um, I actually went uh, golfing 
quite a, quite a bit. I went golfing with my wife on uh, on Saturday. Way to remember those who have fallen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had a good time with my wife. I actually spent a lot of time with my wife. I haven't been able to do you know spend very much time with her just for whatever reasons for the last couple of weeks. And so I made it a point that uh, if we're gonna you know have a, a weekend to you know m- remember the troops and stuff like that, I'm going to try to hang out with my wife. You know, because those things kind of relate. Sure. Um, but anyways, I uh, played golf with my wife and then decided to play golf with a buddy on, uh, on Sunday mm-hmm. and, uh, we, <laughs> we drank entirely way too much alcohol to the point where I was hung over so bad that we normally record this, uh, show or this episode on a Monday. Mm-hmm. I fucking didn't recover at all until today. So yeah, I sure did appreciate scheduling my day off to do this and then not getting to do that because you were too fucking hungover. Yeah, that that's, uh, that's that really fault. made my day worth it. I'm so sorry. I love you. I, I couldn't even properly remember the troops because yeah. I was going to do it through podcast. <laughs> okay. Well, you should have went out and played golf. Yeah, I sure should have. <laughs> like any normal American. Yeah. Uh, I also did uh, watch uh, Obi Wan, uh, which has come out on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Um, there's only been two episodes, uh, but so far I like it. I really, mm-hmm. I really fucking like it. I think it's. Uh, I'm hoping it's. It's got. Uh, what is that one bitch that is in charge of Star Wars that I can't fucking stand? Like Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Um, and then the other guy who I really like. Uh, what's his name? The other uh, the, JP. Uh, as far no. as I can tell, I, no. he's the only one willing to fuck you in this room. No, he was the writer for Mandalorian. Let's not put words in. My oh, mouth. John Favreau. Yeah, John Favreau. Uh, it is by any chance is he in charge of this one? Do you know? I don't know. Okay, actually. Uh, um, so. Because, yeah, but, he's much better. Yeah. Um, but uh, I also, while, while we're sitting here, we're recording this episode. Uh, we are watching the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs. We are watching hockey for the very first time of uh, since doing this show. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> yep. Um, Go halves. I legitimately watched my very first hockey game from puck drop to the final buzzer. Uh, what day was that? I think that was what? How in the fuck Saturday? should I know? I was talking to JP because he knows what Why game I'm talking Why the fuck would about. he know? I, I say I'm a St. Louis Blues fan. That's just because I'm oh, a St. Louis on, everything fan. So I was rooting for the Blues against the Avalanche, and it was a fucking barn burner. It was like it ended up in overtime. It and ended up in overtime, and they won five. it in overtime. Yeah, yeah. that was um, fucking great. They had all the momentum at that point. I hated it. It's awesome, but it then, was a great game, though. It doesn't matter. They lost, and so well, now we're as they here. were going to from the very beginning. But it's nice that they gave everybody a show. Yeah, that's I don't true. know a lot about hockey in postseason when they go to overtime. Mm-hmm. If will they go to a shootout then after the overtime? Not in not in the playoffs. Okay. It's, it's, they'll just keep playing. Death. They'll sudden, keep playing until oh, somebody sudden wins. Death. Okay. Yeah, sudden so death. they don't even go the full period. No, no. sudden okay. death. Sudden death till somebody wins, yep. and they'll go period after period after period. So just my <laughs> wife. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Woo! something. Like Give me that, a rim but, shot for that. Hey, for fuck's hey, sake. Oh, that's Sorry, some wrong. Cheers and a rim shot. We <laughs> get it all. We got it all. We got it all. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was pretty much my week. So had fun. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jeremy? I didn't do none. Uh, you saw Top Gun, motherfucker. I, I sure did. Uh, I worked on Saturday, which sucked, so I only got a standard two-day weekend. Uh, but I did get some nice overtime out of it. Um, other than that, did a little yard work, too. Uh, oh, very it's nice boring that you have a yard. It, it sure is, man. <laughs> you should get one. You should get one. Plant one out in front of your car. Good, good uh, for you. I, you're going to want to get some uh, good string trimmer to get around those tires. Uh, it's, uh, That's so up. It sure is. I <laughs> I feel bad about saying it, yeah. uh, yet I don't. Um, <laughs> let's see. Other than that, mostly just watched a lot of TV. I also watched Kenobi. Yeah, uh, I liked it. I it's interesting so far. Uh, there. Okay, here's one thing that I cannot stand about anything that has little kids in it with a chase scene, where no. the adults who chase her just lumber after her when they could so easily just catch walk her. up yeah. they, they could walk faster than, <laughs> than this kid could run catch her <laughs> instead you oh, have to just oh, oh, St. Louis. Oh, oh, oh. yeah edmonton yeah yeah st louis edmonton. well that that would be cheating if I'm st louis thinking, yeah, scored no. a goal in this because they just jumped on the ice then <sighs> yeah uh let's see um i i watched another movie we rented it pay-per-view uh belfast mm. have you guys heard this no. It was it was nominated for an Academy Award. I don't think it won. That doesn't Best mean picture. shit. Um, okay, it it was not what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it takes place in 
uh, Northern Ireland in the 60s and 70s, which they called that, there was like this, they called it the Troubles. And it was basically Northern Ireland broke out in this huge gang war. Nice. That where these street thugs and shit basically used their religion. Were the sons of anarchy there? Yeah, they were. No, this was a little before. This is what that led to oh, oh, gotcha, um, gotcha. But yeah, it was like, it was basically a glorified turf war where they used, uh, whether they were Catholic or Protestant, to justify the violence that they were doing. Oh. And I thought that the movie was going to focus I know all about that. on that. <laughs> um, what? I know all about that as about. just from experience. People using their religion to force violence on upon me. Oh, oh, you there know, you go. Being a gay man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm mm. sure. I'm sure. Priest. Yeah. Priest really gave it to you? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, God damn it. I mean, <laughs> Scotty knows. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Goal abs. Tied it up. Uh, but we also are ready. Not- wow. Yeah. Um, did you want to talk? I, I guess, are you done? Or are you keep no, oh, okay. no, I got a couple other things I watched. <laughs> spectacular can't yeah. wait to hear but no this movie uh i thought it would would really like talk you know really portray the violence and everything that was going on no it's just about this dumb fucking family and how their life was while this shit was kind of going on in the background cool um yeah mostly focuses on this stupid little kid that uh you know just kind of loves his grandparents and and he just hangs out that's it great I'm definitely. They didn't want to move to Australia. That's <laughs> that's the big, big like struggle in the movie. Oh, uh, but scared yeah, of kangaroos, it's, huh? It's it's in black and that's white, so thing. it's extra artsy. Oh fuck! Uh, yeah, just so not what I thought it was going to be. I'm not saying it was a bad movie. Just disappointed me because it's not what I thought it was going to be. Uh, and then uh, my wife and I started watching uh, Jack Ryan on Amazon Prime. Uh huh. With uh, John Krasinski. Uh huh. Uh, we're about, I, I think we're seven episodes into the first season, and it is fucking outstanding. Yep, it, was, it, it is was good. absolutely outstanding you're, so far. You're a little bit late to the party. That's been out for a while. I, I know that, okay. but, you know, we're we're very busy people. We got a lot of other things to watch. <laughs> oh, and so, <laughs> yeah, I got reviews to give. People are counting on me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And uh, so, yeah, um, other than that, uh, I guess... I guess uh, take off the character here for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's something we need to address, I guess. Or sure. don't have to, but we're going to. Uh, I And then we're not going to address this ever more. <laughs> ever again. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, we get a lot of negative comments and shit all the time from people. Ever since we've been on TikTok, we get a lot of negative comments all the time. And most of them are from people who just crew social media looking for something to be offended about and you know it we we check into their profile and these are just virtue signalers and uh we hate these people <laughs> and um we hate cancel culture we hate all that kind of shit and so that's really kind of been a double-edged sword for us because it kind of like fueled us to push boundaries and do what we can to piss those people off but at the same time it kind of desensitized us to a lot of the negative feedback that we get because we just dismiss it. And uh, when we released our video of the Make-A-Wish joke that JP started uh, <laughs> yeah. by, by so rudely saying yeah. that anybody who opposes Make-A-Wish is a dick. Um, no, um, when we started getting negative feedback, we just dismissed it as we normally would. And uh, it didn't help their case that a lot of their stuff was filled with insults and threats which kind of ensures we're not going to have a productive exchange. Um, So anyways, we did get turned on to this group. This um, it's called uh, battle corn care packages. And uh, this last Friday, we spoke with the, uh, the couple who runs it, uh, Curtis and Trish Valer. And um, we did a live stream on Friday, right? Yep. It was Friday. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we got to listen to their, horrific just tragic story it was heartbreaking to say the least and it was eye-opening and as we got to listening to it it really started to dawn at least on me and i think you too that the negative comments we were getting this time were not the same karens and trolls and 
you know, snowflakes who can't take a joke. These were uh, people who have been through something so horrific and cruel that uh, I can't really fit my head around it. And um, they were angry, to say the least. And, you know, we were kind of patted by the, the fact that we were getting a lot of positive feedback on it. And so we just kind of either ignored them or in some cases even pushed back like I did last week. Uh, but these were not, as I called them last week, the same humorless twats that, uh, that we normally get. And um, so basically, out of respect for them, even though my joke was meant to be ironic and sarcastic and, you know, done to be absurd, uh, they're basically so broken and shattered that they, they can't see that. And so out of respect to them, we've chosen to take that video down and we ask that anybody who's made a duet of it and, and shared it, you know, to support us, if, if you would please take that down too. I want to make it very clear. They didn't ask us to do that. We're doing that on our own. Uh, we're not caving into this. We're, we're not giving into Antifa's, you know, yeah. big, you know, agenda here or anything like that. They, uh, they kind of helped us see that we were, we should not have posted it on TikTok. Yeah. Um, that was a big thing. It's, it's one thing on our, on our show to, to do that where people have to come find us. And you guys are our audience. You know what we're about and the type of humor that we do. But on TikTok, it can just pop up on anybody's page. So we certainly shouldn't have put it there. Shouldn't have put it on really any social media. Uh, so we have pulled it and we ask that you do the same. Uh, if in some way that makes you lose respect for us, uh, then you want to write into us. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now, you could save some time. I'll give you our response. The same button you use to, to subscribe with us will also unsubscribe you. So uh, we're still going to continue to be inappropriate and offensive and push boundaries. We're just going to stay off that subject for sure. Yeah. So uh, that's all I have to say back. Back to the funny. <laughs> I think we can all put the blame exactly where it belongs on Derek. <laughs> Uh, exactly. If he was here, if that would have never happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He would have just gone on. He wouldn't have challenged me to be a dick. Yep. No. Uh, but again, if you haven't already, please go and check them out. It's at battlecorncarepackages.com. Mm -hmm. They have a, they have an event uh, that's coming up, and they're trying to raise $25,000 uh, for childhood cancer research. So do check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. It's the uh, Gold Tie Gala uh, 2022. Please do whatever you can to help. We, we sincerely do appreciate uh, that and uh, just the fact that they're they're getting donations from people that are coming from us that means a lot to us and uh, shows them that we're not big fucking mm -hmm. pricks as well. So thank you for doing that. At which I wouldn't blame them if they thought that. Yeah, uh, you kind of tell in that live stream that uh, they were kind of fighting the urge to come through the screen and tear our heads off. Oh, for off, sure. Uh, which I don't blame them for. Yeah, but I would I would probably let them mm -hmm. if they could have. But anyways, but, yeah. moving, moving back on moving to Moving back funny. to funny. God. Let's do funny shit. Yeah, but uh, we do have to give a... Uh, or are you, you got any more shit you want to talk about over your week? Did or you, you watch anything you, else, <laughs> Jeremy? <laughs> Did yeah. you watch yeah, it? Yeah, let me, let me get back to, this, <laughs> to my week after going through that, okay? Give me, give me the TV guide. No. Anyways, uh, before we move on to the fun parts of this show, we're going to give a, a shout out to our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. Uh, that is JP's favorite company, I, I think. It. He I loves absolutely it. absolutely love the company. Manscaped.com makes excellent products to help you shave your balls. And who doesn't love a good set of shaved balls? <laughs> uh, I can't think of anyone. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. If I had to have a choice, uh, would I prefer <laughs> shaved or unshaved balls in my mouth? Shaved. Uh, shaved, shaved, for sure. Every course. time. Yep. Um, but yeah, you should check out manscaped.com. They have excellent products like the lawnmower 4.0. That's the one that helps you shave your nuts and butthole. Um, they also have other products as well. They have cologne that's called refined that uh, gets all the chick and you know what? Fuck it. Maybe it gets the dudes too. I have no idea. Does it smell good to you? Um, I, I prefer all natural. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair. <laughs> uh, myself, Fair. but like, yeah, no, it's no deodorant even. Right. Yes. Yeah. No, stinky yeah, pits. Just, <laughs> yeah. So, sweaty balls. So in so, other words, if you're not, if you're not the gay guy, uh, and you're looking to, you know, impress chicks, this cologne is fucking great. Um, but they have other products as well. They have the weed whacker that helps with your nose hair, your ear hair. That's very important. The older very that you important. get. 
Um, and then they've got uh, the manicure kit. They've got all kinds. My favorite. Yeah, the shears. Oh, yeah, that's right. My favorite, them. the ball toner. Yeah, that's ah. right. Now, I don't use it on my balls, but I do put a little <laughs> swipe here, here, and just a little bit on the cheeks, uh, and I, it'll keep you tight. <laughs> I, I put it in my printer before I Xerox my balls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smart, smart. That way you get that good mm-hmm. contrast. That's right. <clears throat> but now that it's starting to get uh, muggy and hot here, especially in Kansas, they also have the ball deodorant, which is very important for right around now, especially if you think that there's a possibility that you could be getting some action a little bit later. You don't want your nuts smelling like shit. So check them out at manscaped.com for all those products. Any product that you uh, order, um, if you use the promo code SIDELINES, you get 20% off of that order and free shipping. And if you use the promo code JP... I will come to your house and help you use the products. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but check them out at manscaped.com. We sincerely do appreciate them. Uh, that also, uh, when you use that prom- that promo code, it lets them know that, uh, you know, we sent you and uh, we're reading every single commercial word for word. I'm going to put that ball deodorant to the test this summer. Okay. Uh, you're talking about like immovable object versus irresistible force here. Because, <laughs> dude, my nuts put off some funk when I've been sweating. <laughs> Yeah. Like you would not believe, but JP prefers it on that well, okay. Not, not maybe not yours. It <laughs> sounds okay. like that was a bad choice. <laughs> oh. Maybe you ought to use the deodorant. Boy, <laughs> I was going to bottle that fragrance. No, I don't think that'd be a good idea. <laughs> okay, well, maybe Manscaped will think differently. I mailed well, it to him. That's uh, you mailed it already. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. All right. Well, getting to the uh, the news slash sports uh, for this week. Unfortunately, um, we had a gentleman pass away, Ray Liotta. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he was mainly was, famous, I think, for Goodfellas and uh, Eight Men Out. No, not Eight Men Out. Eight Men Out. Uh, not. Yeah, oh. not not Eight Men. That was the uh, film I was, did. That was right. That was exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, what, well, that was Eight Men in Field of <laughs> Dreams. Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. Field yes, of dreams. Uh, he played uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that is not the movie that I remembered Ray Liotta from. You know how fucking stupid my ass is. That's pretty we goddamn. Do. Yeah. We oh no. Knew. Wait till oh, you Jesus get this. Christ. Let's go. The um, the movie that immediately like I think of Ray Liotta being such a huge part. At least are the movies that I watched. Operation Dumbo Drop. That is the movie that I think of Ray Liotta. Have you ever seen Operation Dumbo <laughs> Drop, Jeremy? I have actively avoided it. Yeah, uh, with, I don't think I've ever success. seen In fact, Operation yeah. Dumbo I, Drop. I know oh, yeah. of it. Danny Glover, right? Yep, Danny Glover. And there's a, there's a, yeah. a, a, a Vietnamese kid that I don't know. Boo! <laughs> uh, I, I, not I'm going to guess it was Dat Fan. No, it wasn't. It was a completely different one. Comedian Dat Fan. And uh, they uh, they ended up having to go and get an elephant in some village outside of uh, in somewhere in Vietnam, and they had to drop it out of, out of a fucking plane. Mm-hmm. That's why they called it that. All right. Well, based on a true story. Based on a true story. I feel like story. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. And by based on a true story, you mean that they have airplanes and there are <laughs> elephants. And there are That's, elephants. It's based on a true story like Cool Runnings was based on a true story. <laughs> yes. That is 100 Jamaica true. exists and there is also bobsledding and the two kind of met once. And other than that, that's, there's nothing true about that. That is 100% And John true. Candy exists. That's right. He uh, wasn't Dumbo in this, was he? No, he was okay. not. Yeah. All right. Uh, but moving on, uh, please. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Why, why did you have to bring up Ray Liotta? Was he important to the show? Yeah. He, I don't recall a lot of Ray Liotta references. I, I can make some if you'd like, <laughs> but sure. I, I don't know. I, I liked him and I really, can, I still like that movie too. Can I give you my do you, favorite? Do you have a copy? Be honest, man. You have a copy and you know where it's at. <laughs> it's gotta be on VHS. No, it's on DVD and it's oh. upstairs. I purchased, oh. I purchased that movie on Amazon, like maybe four or five years ago, just to watch it again. I like to think <sighs> that if you were to put it in your PS five, that Sony has programmed that thing <laughs> to self-destruct. Just cut a groove right in the middle of it. This <laughs> guy doesn't deserve me. Yeah. I'm you're done. Probably, you're probably right. Uh, but moving on to, uh, we got some football news. While it's in the off season, uh, it, they they have announced uh, Patrick and Brittany Mahomes are going to have a second child. So now he is uh, tied down to that psycho bitch squared. In I, fact, you really are using a loose definition of the word football news. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know. 
It's it's Patrick Mahomes, man. You gotta. You That's know. great and all, and you'd think he'd be smarter after the first time. I know, shit. but no, she must have got him again. I think this relationship. I'm not even. Joking. He obviously prepares prefers bareback. Um, probably, uh, but I who really, doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I who mean, wants honestly, to wear a condom? yeah, it's like trying to fuck with a wool sock on your dick. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the feeling of sex. I don't just like the motions. Right. Um, but the, to me, this is like. I mean, do you think he really loves her? Do you think so, Patrick Mahomes? There's, there's got to be something we don't see. That's uh, what I'm saying. Of course he loves her. Bro. Bullshit. No. Bullshit, dude. This is some Johnny has, Depp and Amber Heard bullshit. Is dude, what he has is. so much money and fame, and he could have anybody he yeah, wants. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could. So he must love her. No. But I think she got her claws into him before he got all that it's, money. It's like that yeah. episode of It's Always Sunny where they identify with the McPoyles. I don't know. I've never, I've never oh. watched that show. Oh. I, I don't follow the story enough. I've seen episodes, but yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Look at that sweaty crack right there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, or no. Is no, that no, just no. discolored? It's just discolored. Seam. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna well, get... You don't watch It's Always Sunny? No. I don't think I can do your show. That's okay. You don't have to. Uh, it's too late now. I'm already Same here. button that you used to subscribe. <laughs> I'll also unsubscribe <laughs> you. I made that very clear. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I honestly think that that relationship will be ended um, a lot faster than you think. I really do. That's my Either that's my that guess. or it will just be a completely utilitarian yeah. relationship. Like Tiger and... What's her name? Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> he, he, he's getting his puss everywhere else. Right. Just throws it into her from time to time when he wants a baby. Yeah, yeah. Will Smith and what's her, what's her bitch ass? God, she's a cunt, too. Uh, what, what's her name? Uh, Jada. Uh, Jada, Jada's yeah, Jada Pinkett. Fuck, I have to know. She's a bitch. Okay. What uh, makes you say that? The fact that she's a bitch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Should I have used cunt? I should have used cunt. I apologize. I think you might have used it as well. Okay, whatever. Uh, but anyways, she's, she's a bitch by cunt standards. <laughs> right? And that's bad. Yeah, that's even bad. Cunts call her a bitch. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, next thing. Uh, Tom Brady's uh, salary cap hit this year at $11.9 million. Ironically, so did Jared Goff's at uh, $31.2 million. This is why I love Tom Brady. I, I've. He's, I hope he wins the Super Bowl, and this is his last year. Again, folks, go back to episode one <laughs> of this very podcast when it was called Unrated, or Unfiltered Sportscast, yep. and you will hear Scotty proclaim his undying hatred. I've changed my tune, man. <laughs> Jared I, Goff I, doesn't have a wife that has more money than he does. So yeah, this is true. He's probably yeah, trying he, to make that money. He doesn't have a billion-dollar business. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, you're probably right. Maybe later on in his career, Jared Goff will... You Make said it right. It. Goffel. Yeah. Goffel. He is fucking he Goffel. Is. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. Huh? Aaron Donald uh, is having talks with the Saint or with the Los Angeles Rams. I apologize. Um, and uh, he actually made the quote because they're trying to discuss his contract. And he says, I don't need to play football to be fine. I'm at peace. So if that guy retires, which he very well could, um, do you think the uh, Rams are going to be that good without that guy? Uh, they'll find somebody to fill in. I mean, they're not obviously going to be as anybody. good, obviously, but there's there's somebody. They'll get somebody that'll go there and play with them. And yeah, but I mean, they they. I mean, he is yeah, a, the, he's, he's a, a superstar, beast, dude. dude. He is a superstar, and you know it sucks to lose him. But look, man, the, the every kid that comes on that field next is just so much better than the previous years and i mean they hmm. they don't train in several sports anymore when you're when you know when you're a kid and you start peewee football that's all you play now hmm. you don't you don't get to play everything you concentrate on football year round you want to be the best you i mean and it shows i mean look at patrick mahomes look at i mean that kid yeah holy crap he's a stud he's amazing man yeah. senior he's junior. amazing yeah senior or junior the old man junior uh, okay okay I, Whatever. Singer was a pretty good person. <clears throat> yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, I did want to uh, announce, even though I don't really watch the NBA, but uh, the NBA Finals. Do I not uh, get to chime in on this? Oh, no, you do. I'm sorry. And you didn't either, which we're all grateful for. Yeah. Uh, I honestly think that this is actually a ploy. Uh, he's trying to get out of training camp. Oh, okay. That's what I think. This, is, this is, wouldn't be the first time that star players who know they've got their starting position locked up, who don't need training camp... They do shit like this all the time. Okay. Yeah. And I, would, I wouldn't I would be surprised if that's the case, too. 
Uh, but I was going to announce that, uh, obviously, with us not watching basketball, but uh, the NBA Finals are set. We've got the Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics. Both JP and myself were wrong because we said Mavericks. So um, I guess I was right then? <clears throat> yeah, you were. Who did I say? Birmingham? Birmingham. Birmingham. They're still in it. Uh-huh. They are, yeah. Well, they sure haven't been eliminated, all. I can no. tell you that. <laughs> that's true. I'm going to jump on the Birmingham. They haven't lost a game him. yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but, yeah, I I have watched a little bit as far as the highlights go, but who do you got, Boston or Golden State? Because this is actually, I think, the best matchup that we, we could ask for of the teams that were remaining. I'll have to take your word for it because I don't watch it. I know. But I, I'm I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this is Golden State. And I think uh, Steph Curry wins his fourth. Yeah. So. Uh, this is definitely Golden State, and I'll tell you why. Of the three that they have not, or that they have won so far, Steph Curry has not yet won uh, MVP. Oh, so he has to get one. So he's got to get one, and when he gets his mind set on something, he's the most dangerous guy in the NBA. Okay, I'd say that's true. And I say that with no real expertise whatsoever, but I know he's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look like you were going to say something. But uh, anyways, I also did want to make the comment. Um, Did you know... Yeah, that the I did. the least so just shut it. The least watched NFL game of uh, this last season was the Raiders against the Browns in Week 15 with 5.86 million viewers. <clears throat> the most popular or most watched NBA game so far this year mm-hmm. um, was, I believe, LeBron. Yeah, it was LeBron against the Nets uh, during Christmas. Mm-hmm at uh, 5.75 million viewers. That is still less than the least watched football game. And so if you think, oh, why don't you guys watch NBA? Because nobody else fucking does. That's why. So well, it, it's not out. a fair comparison. Yeah. There's 17 NFL games, one a week. So each one is a spectacle unto itself. Whereas, much like in uh, Major League Baseball games, there's just so goddamn many of them. Most That's people, true. And so many people, so many teams make the postseason that most people just really don't even give a fuck until playoff time. That's, yeah. that's probably fair. It's I, very fair. It's more than fair. I'm giving too much there. How is, uh, how's, how's your Royals doing over there? Uh, oh, boy. Uh, they sure are getting to the stadium sometimes. <laughs> they sure um, are. They sure are. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it's, there was actual hope for them to be at least contend to be a winning team this year. Yeah. There's so many things wrong. Mm-hmm. I, and and nobody can really put their finger on exactly what it is. Wit's finally starting to come around. Salvi can't seem to stay healthy. Uh, but when he is in there, he's actually productive. Um, I think everybody expected Bobby Witt Jr. to come in and just be like the next George Brett or something, and that's just too much to put on a guy. He's, he's very good, but I don't know that he's like a future Hall of Famer or anything. Sure, okay. Um, but pitching – has been so inconsistent, especially starting pitching, and then the relievers haven't been much better. Nice. Now, well, like Cardinals. No, it's not. Yeah, <clears throat> not, <clears throat> not for a Royals fan. Well, it's not. I know, but I'm not a Royals fan. I'm a Cardinals fan. Well, they're not getting in your way, are they? No, they're not. But um, I just know that Goldschmidt's on fucking fire. I've tried to watch as many games as I possibly could, but it's uh, you know, it's, it's you don't mean season. literally, do you? No figure. Because that seems very uncaring of you to just be doing a podcast when you know a guy's on fire. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But anyways, uh, that is all the sports stuff that I have for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff uh, as we are watching the uh, NHL playoffs. Um, yeah, let's have some fun here. Uh, we're going to start off with real shit or horse shit. And uh, while JP sits here and goes ape shit over the uh, avalanche scoring another goal. Not really. You're, you're, you're pretty, I'm pretty impressed with you, actually. Uh, but no, first one, real shit or horse shit. If I am using a shopping cart, I will sometimes push it really fast and stand up on the bar as if I am bobsledding. Real shit. you goddamn right. And this if is real you don't shit. do it, then fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes you. That's You're no fun. Right. That's right. And fuck yeah, you're you you're fucking do. too old. Absolutely. Fuck yeah, you do this. I don't care how old you are. You're going to do this forever. As long For as sure. you have shopping carts, you are doing this. Yep. And it's so much fun, especially when you're like out going to, to the car and there's kind of a little slope. Oh, oh you yeah. ride that you motherfucker. You got to ride it. Mm-hmm. You got to ride the slope. Yep. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, you're right. It does not matter how old you are. It does, however, matter how fat you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not at all capable of doing this anymore. And so instead, I just uh, 
steer the cart around like it's a race car <laughs> and I like drift around the corners and shit with it or just to really like piss my wife off because I never go to the grocery store without her um, while the cart has stuff in it uh, pick it up and carry it behind her <laughs> and she's just like what are you doing I'm, I'm I got the cart <laughs> you brought you me to you, you told me to take care of the cart so I am <laughs> great and then when she gets she's like put it down I just th throw it yeah all right next one right into the fucking cup of noodles yep <laughs> <laughs> next one real shit or horse shit if I plug something in and it doesn't work I beat the crap out of it uh, to see if that helps yeah I mean real shit not everything, but a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Not everything, but yeah, yeah a yeah. lot of stuff. I, I mean, I just was remembering like the older TVs, and you plug it in, and something wasn't right. Nintendo. Nintendo. Oh yeah. my god, I can't blowing tell it. you how many times yeah. I hit my Nintendo. Is that where you got your affinity for blowing? <laughs> yeah, is Nintendo. Nintendo? Absolutely, yeah, for sure. And you know that absolutely made no difference. No, it just, didn't. Just so you know, made you it feel made better. Me feel good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When it worked after I blew in it, forget it. That's, I knew I was a pro I, then. I've watched a lot of videos about uh, Nintendo's, like people like fixing them up and shit. They open them up. There's nothing to those fucking things. There's one circuit board and, and just a lot of empty space. Mm -hmm. And That's when crazy. they open up the cartridges, they're just a little tiny circuit board in there. There's yeah, no, just, you, and you plastic. can do it without yeah. that fucking cartridge outside yeah. if you take it apart. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you can. Um, Next one. Huh. Real shit or horse shit? Oh, I, do I not get to answer? Oh, I thought you did. I, I didn't. Fuck. I, thought, you I was busy talking Nintendo. Like no him. shit. Did you piss him off? Yeah, yeah, I guess. People start talking Nintendo and it's like, I know Japanese stuff. And so, <laughs> yeah. Fun fact about Nintendo. Uh, do you know that they are like one of the oldest companies on earth? They started really? play, making playing cards. They're, they're like 200 some years old. Wow. Yeah. No, I did not know that. Yeah. Um, there you go. Now you do. You uh, <laughs> Thank God you let yeah. him talk. No shit. Nick, where's Justin Nunley when you need him? Yeah, uh, it's actually beating the shit out of something is always the second thing I do. There's one thing that seems to solve a lot of problems for some reason. Pull the plug out, turn it over, and plug it back in. For some reason, that shit works. If it's not a three-prong you know, yeah. plug-in, of course. Otherwise, turning it over will just confuse it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah okay. that's what I do. All right, fair enough. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. If I decide I actually don't want something that is already in my shopping cart, I will go back to where I found it and put it back. Oh, nobody does that. <laughs> what? Dude, I don't give a shit if it's ice cream. <laughs> I'm putting it back with the bottled water if that's where I happen to be. And I decide I don't want that flavor of ice cream. <laughs> Briar shouldn't have fucked up and made that ice cream that made me want to put it back. <laughs> I, I honestly... I don't like you people, so I I what do you go. Mean you people, I mean yeah, the people that I think you do. Threw you in there with me. No, the people that don't go and put it back. Like, go do you put, face it up too? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yes, I do. I front Good for every. You, I, man. I front you are, everything. You're I'm great. I'm one of those people. I care about the workers and stuff. Like I, I feel bad. Yeah, you're wanna, trying to work them out of a mm, job. No, yeah, oh, that's I'm, her job. Just like from, putting the cart back. That's right. No, I, I go all the way back there and put put up the wrong spaghetti. Sauce, yeah, yeah, right. Well, now little Ronnie doesn't uh -huh. have a job. <laughs> okay. Now they fire little Ronnie, mm. who was 15 years old and can't do anything else and save money for college. Uh. Now he's not going to go to college. He's going to end up like you, <laughs> and just dumb for the rest of his life. And I, all because you wanted to put your spaghetti sauce back. I don't know if you remember the pandemic, Scotty, but those people are heroes. No, oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah we yeah. are. Well, sorry. No, sorry. No, not, not you, you people. The, uh, the, the grocery worker. store workers. The oh. worker, the people you're taking uh -huh. the job away from. <laughs> sorry, Ronnie. People who risk life and limb, <laughs> you know, Ronnie. getting a bad yeah. cold to, uh, you know, stock shelves. Oh, well, sorry, Ronnie. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. Uh, do I still not get <laughs> <laughs> You got to admit, I did that one on purpose. What the <laughs> fuck? What the? No. I'm the goddamn star of this show. I'm a son of a bitch. I'm just gonna keep. Doing I will it. not be ignored. <laughs> Why not? I honestly don't remember the last time I put something in my cart that I didn't want. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, we only put things really in our cart unless they are a necessity or unless my wife has a coupon. And we buy a lot of shit that we normally wouldn't buy because we're quote unquote 
saving money. Uh, <laughs> Right. That's that's the way her mind works. Oh, is your wife one of those coupon? Uh, she's a super couponer. Really? Uh huh. Like the people that like get four carts. Of oh shit? no 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 okay. no no no. All right. She's she's not an extreme couponer. Okay. All right. <laughs> she's not extreme. She just whenever she sees a coupon, she cuts it out and then uses that as an excuse to buy something we would otherwise never have bought, and then try to convince me that we saved money uh-huh. by making a purchase that we normally would not have. In fifty. 50- 50% of the time, also, just so you know, on the, on coupons, 50% uh-huh. of the time, it's the same fucking price. It's not even really on sale, just so you know. No, it's not. We Most of our coupons are, like, so much off. Oh, of it. oh so, I, see, I see. Yeah, you don't know how coupons work. I don't. That's, That's a why. dumb fucking joke, Scotty. Well, when you have as much money as Scotty. This is true. You don't worry about coupons. That's right. I swear to yeah. God, you made that, that statement. Now it's the worst day of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, are you done, Jeremy? Yes, please move on. Okay, thank you. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. If my spouse calls and tells me they were in an accident, my biggest concern is the damage to the car. Can I go first on this one? <laughs> yes, you can. This is real shit, because if you were hurt, you wouldn't be calling. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. This is this happened. My wife got into a wreck while on the phone with me once. <laughs> she ran a red light, if you can imagine an Asian woman doing that. <laughs> And she ran the red light, and she got, basically, somebody clipped the back end of her car and spun her around. And that might be the most effective way to stop her dumb story (laughs) that I've ever seen. It was, I was happy that it actually happened. And the fact that she did keep talking, but now she's changed her story about the wreck. Uh, And I'm not talking about Derek, by the way. (laughs) No. Uh, (laughs) Um but uh yeah at least this was something interesting nice uh yeah this is uh this is 100 percent real shit uh if you are calling me if you are able to make a phone call you're fine so how much damage is in the fucking car jp well what if the call was baby i don't know this is my last breath <laughs> uh, i'm laying here in the side of a ditch i just <laughs> rolled my truck <laughs> And I'm dying, <laughs> and I wanted to tell you one last time I love you. You would really just be like, ah, fuck you. How's the truck? <laughs> no, you know what my response would be? New phone, who dis? <laughs> New phone, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, if you're like, call 911. Why no. are you calling yeah, I'll go me? With, uh, yeah, I'm the least I'll go with real here. shit. I'll go with real shit for the same reason. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. I'm glad that we're fucking pieces of shit for people. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, last well, one. I mean, uh, have you seen how hard vehicles are to come by these days? <laughs> That's true. Jesus. Yeah. I can find a new wife anywhere. <laughs> That's right. Okay. I mean, I attract puss like you wouldn't believe. I scream <laughs> sex. Yeah. All right. Next, last one. Real shit or horse shit, I would be okay with getting my spouse's name tattooed on my body. I legally just am able to get a spouse so i don't know about the whole tattoo too okay you know what i mean yeah. let's just take it one step at a time i'm just getting used to being able to have a real spouse oh that's true i mean i'm never gonna find one <laughs> let's be honest nobody's nobody's coming after me nowadays oh uh, you, you don't I mean, give yourself i have credit. a passenger seat though just in case they do <laughs> right uh well I, i'm gonna go with i'm very happily married um but fuck no you idiot so was Johnny Depp married to Amber Heard. They thought that was a good fucking idea. And eventually, bitches go crazy. So, no, absolutely <laughs> fucking not. The bitches be crazy. That's right. And you know what? I'm even going to say this. I'm going to say that if you're going to get anyone's name tattooed on your body, it better be Jesus. That's it. Jeremy? Are you talking Christ or yeah. the gardener? No, yeah, the gardener. Okay. Okay. He's an yeah, excellent I mean, lawn shit, guy. Shit, yeah. Dude can <laughs> prune rose bushes like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, okay, here's the only reason why I would be okay with it. Uh, my wife's name is only three letters <laughs> I long. It. I knew it. And I, knew it. I could change it to a lot of shit. <laughs> They're pretty I common. Knew those a lot of common letters. <laughs> or I could just put sucks at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to take up too much space. 
could be very inconspicuous. Yeah, I would put it under my behind ball your sack. ear. Yeah, <laughs> nobody looks there. <laughs> yeah, but you know it's there. I sure <sighs> do. Yeah, that's right. And that's how I remember her all the time. Oh, great! I'll think about her when I'm caressing my nut sack, freshly shaved <laughs> by Manscaped.com. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that was real shit or horse shit. Uh, again, guys, if you have uh, any suggestions for that, our Q&A is up on TikTok where you can send us those uh, those suggestions if you have any. I, I'm, I'm willing to have some of those. So, uh, But now we, get, now we get to get to uh, an, a growing in popularity segment. This is uh, Bad Advice with Jeremy. This is whenever you guys get to go to our Instagram or our TikTok even and uh, send us some situation that you are in that you want the absolute worst advice from jeremy and we will give you a shout out and uh, let him answer it are you gonna skip me on this one too no this is all oh. you buddy all right uh but anyways uh we did get a uh an, uh, a gentleman that uh, sent us a situation that he is in uh this is uh trey paulding uh 1323 uh he writes dear jeremy I've lived in Germany now for 14 years, and this summer I'm moving to the United States. Of America? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any advice on how I could adjust to life in America? Oh, I've got so much advice on this. Uh, Thank God you're not moving to Canada. (laughs) Let me just say that right off the top. Um, Basically, you know, you're moving to a country which is well known for its deep and rich culture. Uh, everybody, that's what everybody thinks of with America is our, our culture and our traditions. Uh, basically, the, the whole thing to really blending in and, and adapting to life here is to learn some of our, our traditional customs in this country. Uh, so basically, let me start with when you're talking to someone, the conversation. Uh, in, in most cultures, it is very important to make eye contact with the person who you're having a conversation with. In America, however, it's far more important to hold eye contact with them. <laughs> uh, no matter what's happening, maintain just a stare right in their face. In fact, Americans see blinking as weakness. Uh, if there is something that you want to interject into the conversation, it's rude to just speak up. So you should take your hand out and put it on their mouth (laughs) and keep it there until you're done speaking um let's see uh you want to blend in with the fashion uh americans tend to wear socks outside their shoes and then they wear plastic bags over them to protect the socks uh in restaurants when you're being seated by the host or hostess uh it is totally acceptable to take food off people's plates as you're walking by this lets them know that you really do approve of their choices also when you're in those restaurants the wait staff likes to be referred to as grub monkeys oh god um (coughs) americans love bicycles so anytime somebody ever asks you how are you doing your job is to respond emphatically by telling them how many bicycles you've seen that day you know and they're like so what's going on 37 (laughs) And uh, if you go a full day without seeing a bicycle, that's what's known as a shit cycle. (laughs) And that's how you need to respond if you haven't seen one. Uh, If you're speaking to elders, especially uh, men, uh, address them as schmush. Uh, (laughs) Unless you're speaking to someone of great importance, then address them as super schmush. (laughs) Uh, And don't stop until they tell you you don't have to. Uh, always carry a switchblade comb and a scabbard on your belt. And if you see somebody having a bad hair day, just walk up to them and start brushing their hair. Uh, you can endear yourself to your neighbors by uh, bringing them some sort of a baked good, like a pie or a cake. But just before you hand it to them, reach your hand into it and take a, a bite out of it just so they know it's not been poisoned. Um, keep some loose jelly beans in your pocket. That way, if you see somebody you want to meet, you want to hide one in your palm and pass it to them in the form of a handshake. (laughs) Once they've discovered what you've done, just wink and nod at them. (laughs) Uh, Also, when it comes to handshakes, no handshake should last any less than 45 seconds. Uh, 60 to 90 seconds really is considered optimal. Um, We kind of have a a standard agreement between Americans that... um, 
if you're ever out and about and you need to use the restroom, it is totally okay to just knock on somebody's door and tell them that you need to go. They'll be more than happy to let you in. And and just remember, though, that that's a two-way street. So if it's the middle of the night and somebody knocks on your door, they probably just need to use the can. Go ahead and let them in. Uh, if you're using a taxi or a rideshare service, uh, it's always polite to offer to drive. Uh, and in fact, insist. The more hostile that you get about it, the more they appreciate it. Uh, if you see somebody walking with a half-empty drink, uh, it's totally okay to slap it out of their hand so they don't have to feel bad about going to get a fresh one. Um, and last but not least, never ever leave a conversation without asking very interestedly about that person's weekly, monthly, or yearly salary. Uh, <laughs> If you can just keep all these things straight, dude, you're going to fit in just fine. That's my advice. <laughs> God, welcome to America. Mm -hmm. oh, that is bad advice. I know. That's you got a segment. Do you have any? Do you have any to give this kid advice about coming here? I think that. Uh, How old is he? I don't know. We don't know. He, but he's been in Germany for 14 years. Yeah. So we're going to assume he's been somewhere else for at least seven. The, oh. the speed limit signs uh, when you're driving, that is the maximum speed you can go. You actually need to go 10 miles an hour below that. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a lot of people yeah. don't know that. A lot of people yeah. don't know that. Coming In from fact, a different country. It's considered polite. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, that is bad advice. Thank you again to Trey Paulding. We really do appreciate that. Welcome to America. Yeah. Uh -huh. have, have a good time. Uh, yeah, so now we get to move on to our next segment. This is overrated or underrated. Uh, again, guys, if you have any suggestions, send them in to us at Laughing the Sidelines on our TikTok or on our Instagram. And my goodness, we've got some uh, some fan suggestions this week. We'll yes, see we how do. see how good they did. All right, uh, we're gonna start with this one. Uh, overrated? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, first one is from Bad and Bearded eighty seven. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, watching a parent struggling to deal with a screaming toddler at Walmart. Overrated. Who, who, who's going first? JP. Overrated. I was maintaining eye contact. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like you should. Uh, overrated? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time anybody put their uh, hand near my mouth. Sure, <laughs> really? Okay. That was Today, a different anyway. experience. Yeah. Uh, why overrated? Why? Why do you think it's overrated? Because fucking kids. <laughs> That's why. Uh, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them all. <laughs> and you shouldn't be taking them to Walmart in the first place. Leave them the fuck at home. Oh, uh, I hate kids. I know. I don't like them either. Uh, but no, I'm also going to agree with uh, JP on this. It is it is way overrated. Uh, in fact, I am going to stare at that m mom or parent. And I'm just going to just burn a laser through the back of their fucking skull. And oh, I'll throw shit at them. <laughs> I'll just open wow. up a pack of Oreos and just start fucking Take chucking your, Oreos. Your fucking yeah, kid. Yeah, man. Jesus. And screaming kids, dude. That That's the worst. The worst. It, it, people that take them to the fucking restaurant. Oh, oh, God, rot in hell. Jeremy, Joseph, go ahead. I am going to say that this is underrated. And I'll tell you why. Uh, in this day and age, it's... Because we're talking about them struggling with it. It's nice to at least see them trying. Oh, it's true. You have to try to struggle. Uh, I see too often where a toddler is just throwing a fit and the parents are just like, uh-huh, well, he's having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for ruining everybody else's. I'm just trying to buy bread and carry my cart around. Carry, I'm carrying my cart around. Uh, use coupons. <laughs> use coupons. All right, next one. This is from Matt Shelton92. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, getting completely naked to take a shit? I mean, can I watch him take a shit? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> it sounds good to me. I like it. And I'm going to say it is underrated. I think more people should do it, especially people with windows in their house. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh no this is overrated i i've recently have found out people do this and mm -hmm. it's not and it's not like 
like you're getting ready to take a shower or you just got out of the shower. No, they go to like places and hang up. There's a hanger on the back of a public stall. Mm -hmm. There is a guy that works with that. He gets completely butt ass naked and puts all of his clothes up on that fucking hanger. That's supposed, that's supposed to be there for a coat. Well, then you grab those clothes and you just fucking walk out of the bathroom. What's he going to do? He's shitting. Oh, believe me. We've, we're He's trying busy. now that we know whenever he goes to the bathroom, yeah, you just uh, reach over there, yep, grab the shit and walk exactly out. That's exactly right. And he won't do that again. Again, yeah because he'll be fired yeah overrated <laughs> how about you jeremy oh i will do this for sure um, what? I will do uh it, it's okay it, at at home yeah um <laughs> i mean it's it's never really difficult because if i'm not getting ready to take a shower chances are i'm in pajamas or shorts so it's not tough to do yeah. uh under most any circumstance a shirt comes off even if i'm in public uh just Oh, unless, well, not if it's like a, if it's a nice private, like single room a single facility, r- a single room Sing- facility. Well, as like this nice private yeah. single room facility. <laughs> None of these double shitters that you're always running into yeah, no. where you have to hold hands yeah. while you take a oh, shit. Oh, you guys don't do a back to back. Oh, come on now. Then, then I'll keep my shirt on for that. Cause yeah. I just don't rubbing shoulders is gross, but, uh, no, it, that's uh, like, I guess a single stall room. One that one that doesn't have room. multiple stall. Yeah, like hey, quick, quick trip back. Dude, <laughs> you're about to be homeless. You wish you had a room like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably where I'm going to end up is the quick uh-huh. trip bathroom. <laughs> Why not? You can earn some cigarette money and <laughs> yeah. all kinds of shit. Life take, will be all right. Take your fucking shirt off. Why yeah. Take your shirt off. Stay oh, well. Jeez. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, next one. This is uh, coming from Brian Saz six twenty three. He wants to know overrated or underrated. A good piss after a long drive. That means something completely different to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go with underrated. Uh, and I'm just gonna leave that there. Yeah, you should. I don't want to know, Jeremy. Um, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Good piss after a I, long drive, I, Jeremy. I, <laughs> I, I get that you're making an innuendo. I'm just struggling to <laughs> put it together. Put it together. <laughs> I, I I knew you guys were some sick fucks, but I didn't realize piss was involved. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah. <sighs> I mean, yeah. I guess if I have to piss, it's great to piss. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't really uh, pissing when I don't have to seems like a waste of time, uh, especially at my age. Nothing's coming out that ain't. <laughs> pretty well under it's a lot of pressure yeah um yeah it, it, it's fine <laughs> i'm gonna say it's rated it's rated. rated no this is this is way way underrated if you have ever been on a road trip and you pass like a, a town and then you end up having to go to the bathroom in between towns and kansas is very spread out by the way right which is why you pull your car over and piss on the side of the highway no, like you can't, any normal no. person no you gotta you know how to get away with that yeah <laughs> go out front of the car lift the hood people think you're working on it you just piss right in the, the radiator <laughs> or or on it or just on the ground i guess yeah um you're okay. always trying to stick your dick where it shouldn't go <laughs> like radiators and butts <laughs> right uh, <laughs> oh shit uh, but no i it's it's way underrated especially if if you like i said passed that small town didn't see the the what a gas station and then so you've got to go so fucking bad oh that if you have to go, go so bad you don't have an empty bottle in the car bro? no an empty cup no something. yeah how'd you get to have how'd you to get go to so have bad? to go so bad um i guess you could maybe it's a can who it's a can well, oh that just gotta be yeah. careful don't yeah. cut your penis on <laughs> the lip saying. you'll be all right that's those I'm of saying. us who are experienced to develop a case of tough cock <laughs> <laughs> leather cock Leathercock, okay. <laughs> that's that's your new n- nickname, Jeremy. I like to think it always was. Yeah, Leathercock. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, all right, Jerry. What's up? Oh, you I, did. I thought he I did it. I did it already, but mm-hmm. I'll do it again. Now it's he wants ra- you to do it twice. Yeah, it's before rated. he wouldn't let you do no it at shit. all. <laughs> you got to fill time, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one. This is another fan suggestion. Uh, this is from Welder Meyer. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, drinking milk straight from the carton. I mean, I don't know if it's overrated or underrated, but, I mean, I'm single, so my milk's my milk, so I drink it from the carton if I want to. Um, 
But if I was like in a house with roommates and my roommate mm-hmm. grabbed my milk and drank it out of the carton, mm-hmm. I mean, that's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's way overrated for me. Why? Because it's fucking milk. I don't care where you drink it. It belongs in cereal. That's, that's fucking it. it. And, and making uh, Kraft macaroni and cheese. You got to have What milk. about a chocolate milk, Scotty? Yeah. Nope. Love chocolate milk. <clears throat> nope. Oh, yeah. You're, you're kind of I'm weird. offended by sweets. Yeah, I know. And chocolate. Just chocolate and well, cake. I, I love Skit- and I love Skittles and Smarties and sweet tarts and all that shit. So all the he shit that most like trick chocolate. or treaters throw away. Yeah, I'm that's what Scotty's. Bottle after. caps. Bottle caps are fucking. Bottle awesome. caps are good, especially the root beer ones. How about I'm white chocolate, beer. Scotty? Do you yeah. like white chocolate? He was a good basketball With player. With cream filling? Is no. white chocolate okay? White chocolate was an excellent basketball player. Mm-hmm. Uh, he really you're, was. You're, don't dodge the fucking subject. <laughs> do you or do, do you not do you want not JP like to chocolate. fuck you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Which one? No. I Either one. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's next? Jeremy? Me. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and skip me. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's overrated. Uh, get a fucking glass, dude. It washes itself. I have experience with that. Mm-hmm. I put them in the sink. They're washed. Yeah. Again, I don't have that luxury. How, how you, don't have, you don't have a dish fairy? I don't have a sink in my car. <laughs> oh, good point. Radiator. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's for. There you go. It's full of piss. And you know who does have a, have a sink, though, that you can use? That that single bathroom at Quick Trip, mm, yeah, good, yeah, the that good single, single room, room. Yeah, that single room the that really you can nice go to. Really nice single room. You're goddamn right. Okay, uh, this is the last one. Overrated or underrated? People watching. Underrated. Fuck yeah! Uh, is this one even close? No. The best is when you don't drink, like because I don't drink, and going to the bar. Hands down, the best people watching Ooh. ever. Drunk people are fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Really dumb. Really? And easy to take advantage of. Oh, it, this is so underrated. This is so fucking underrated. Uh, and I'm going to ask uh, I'm gonna ask you, JP, you you let me know if I'm anywhere near. I'll be over here just in, minding my own fucking business, and I guess. And Jeremy, guys. you can chime in as well. Nice. We're nope. Gonna skip, nope. We're going to skip you for this one as well. Fine. No, but in all seriousness, whenever you're going someplace where obviously there's a tons of people and you, all, and you find yourself people watching... Are you trying to put together the story of who they are? Oh, I make up stories. Yeah. I make it, especially when I'm with a friend. Oh, I'll yeah. like voice over what they're saying or 100%. doing or what's going on in their day. Absolutely. That is the best thing to do, oh, for especially sure. Especially to make up the story. Yeah, for Fuck sure. Fuck yeah. Yep. Underrated completely. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I struggle with this one. Ooh. Because I hate people. <laughs> but I love a freak show. I really do. Mm-hmm. I don't generally do it like at bars because I'm usually one of those drunk people. And we're yeah. not dumb. No, I have some yeah. of my most brilliant philosophies then. That's why I say it really, really loud. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, um, my favorite place is to go. Uh, flea market. Oh, uh, oh yeah. flea market's a good one. Yeah. Um, uh, those people are flea market people. Mm-hmm. They're great. Bingo people, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, they're we're just fun. naming all kinds of. Them. Oh, there's there's plenty of good places to go that don't require alcohol. Um, yeah, the people oh, that for sure the people that live at the Quick Trip bathroom. Those people. What's wrong with that, man? I don't know. They I just, bet you any got, one of them could host a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. <clears throat> all right, Is that everybody. Okay, now I can move on. All right, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions for these, you can send them to us. Uh, I've been finding quite a few of them on uh, TikTok, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines on TikTok, and you can send them to us. So we've got uh, a couple, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, we do. We've got a couple fan questions, but, uh, yeah, keep sending them our way. If we like them, we'll uh, give you a shout-out on the show. Uh, first question, products that should not be advertised in a sexy way. Popsicles. Ooh, I think they should. Why not? You go from six to midnight watching popsicles? Because popsicles are a kid's product, man. That's true. And you should not be... You should not be putting popsicles up your ass on a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> when there's kids watching. That's it's not right, Scotty. That's a new flavor. It's not no, right. Oh, shit, Scotty. I can't believe you said that, especially mm. what we've been through. Yeah, All that's right. true. I'm going to go uh, toilet bowl cleaner. Yeah, I don't think you should advertise that in a sexy way. That's that's you're, you're cleaning poop. Okay, right. So that's sure. that's mine. <laughs> I wonder who's in charge of the button. 
Well, the, just the notion that that was some kind of a zinger. Right. I, yeah, that Five seconds late. Clears that up. Scotty's definitely got the button. <laughs> That's how I get Jeremy to laugh. It's just the timing of that. That, that is, trophy. without a doubt, the funniest thing you have ever done. I Ever love it? Yeah, it's all downhill from yeah. here. That's right. How about you, Jeremy? I'm gonna go with Q-tips. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, just <laughs> chicks digging in their ears, pulling out gunk. Because we all get it. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Nobody needs to see that. That's true. Oh fuck! Next question. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hell for this. Uh huh. <laughs> Next question. Blank. That's not racist. Big black cock. <laughs> oh, That's not racist. Oh, it's a preference. Oh, I knew it was fucking coming. Uh, hey. Can, <laughs> uh, wrong button. Oh, wrong button. Hey, thank you. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Can, can I ask a serious question here? And I, I want <laughs> no. No fucking around here. Seriously, guys. Okay. Let's we'll stop. African Americans make up 13% of the American population, yet make up 75% of the dildo colors. <laughs> why is that? BBC. That's why. <laughs> also, not racist. No, no, I'm not saying it is. They're preferred, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm guessing. Uh, I put uh, metal detecting. That's not racist. Right, Jeremy? <laughs> I, did anybody Uh-oh. think it was? <laughs> yeah. Only white guys do it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, except for the black people who do it. Why um, do you want to keep them out of metal detecting, <laughs> Scotty? I, I, you don't think they like to detect metal? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right. Also, fried chicken and Kool-Aid. That's not oh, racist. That's okay. fucking delicious is what it I is. I didn't realize we got multiple picks. Yeah, I did. Black History Month. <laughs> not racist. <laughs> God damn it. Jeremy? Gongs. <laughs> Gongs. Not, not racist. Not Chopsticks. Racist. Yeah, not racist. The the utensil or the song. Um, <laughs> I don't know about the song. Uh-huh. It seems racist to me. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little racist. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Isn't that uh, the, the same thing in the, like Aristocats whenever the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's pretty racist. Dragons. Dragons uh, are not. Yeah, no. you're right. Huh, but are. 9-11. <laughs> oh, not boy. racist. Not racist. No, that killed everybody. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Uh, I never forgot. Yep. Next one. Uh, let's see. Oh, I like this question. If you were a ghost, where would you haunt people? <laughs> In their ass. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a gay ghost. <laughs> sure. Uh, Why wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, that's perfect. Every time they go to wipe, just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Harder, Daddy. <laughs> but you'd be at the quick trip parking, or <laughs> quick trip bathroom, wouldn't yes. you? Uh, I, uh, this one was easy for me. This is, uh, I'm fucking haunting an amusement park. For sure. Sure. Yeah, you get to meet Scooby. You get to meet Scooby and all of the gang. I'm the really gang. excited. The but gang. then on top of that, when you're like haunting an amusement park, you can kind of just ride all the rides yeah, all the fucking free. time. For free. Yeah. yeah. Even after they're closed. It's great. Right. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy? Well, if I had to pick my dream spot, I would say like a deserted island just because there's no fucking people there <laughs> so they could leave me the fuck alone. Right. But if I have to haunt people, I'm going to revert back to a previous answer and uh, the flea market. <laughs> the haunted flea market. The case of the haunted flea market. Half of those folks are walking around talking to something anyway. Yeah, some of them have been haunted for a mm-hmm. long time. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I like it, Jeremy. Uh, I didn't okay. ask. <clears throat> right. Anyway, go ahead. All right, next question. Uh, this is, yeah, this is also from a, uh, a fan or a listener. This is at military.man.priv, which I'm assuming is private. Uh, but he wants to know, what's one sentence that would start a massive argument? JP? <sighs> Tread lightly. <laughs> yeah, I really... <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Pass. Okay. I'm going to go with pass. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, you... 
Just we got it. a mic down. <laughs> we we mic. have a mic down. There we go. I got it. Oh, the Still humanity. Works, thank yeah, there God. Go. I can't afford that. I can't afford a place to live. <laughs> can't afford a microphone. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, hey, honey, does chill out still piss you off compared to calm down? That's mine. Jeremy? I would just say chill out. Chill just out. start out. Okay, chill out. Yeah. Just chill start out. off that way. <laughs> chill. How about you, uh, Jeremy? Shampoo is better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, <laughs> Conditioner is mm-hmm. better. Uh, Ford sucks. <laughs> that one always gets them going. Yeah, that one does. Uh, um, oh, God damn it. There's a bunch. Uh, we we yeah, sure with this, but, you know, we're treading lightly. Uh, depending on the room that you're at, uh, Minecraft is way better than Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That ain't no shit. They both suck. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyone? Van Damme is tougher than Chuck Norris. Ooh, yeah, you don't do that. You don't say that. I just did. I know. You come at me, bro. Okay. I'll, I'll get Chuck Norris and we'll kick your ass. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Big black cock. It's not <laughs> racist. It's a preference. Right. Okay. Uh, last question. This is... Oh, man. I'm going to have to read this. Okay. Uh, this is from another fan question, or another fan. This is uh, at right hand, left handed man. He wants to know inappropriate times to read a book while driving. People fucking do that. Oh, they do it all the time. It's It's, it's awful. Why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know. I listen to audiobook, but I read the cover. (laughs) (laughs) Just the whole time. Uh huh. (laughs) When having sex, don't read a fucking book unless I mean, it's the kama sutra mm-hmm. no i'm i'm serious about this like um <coughs> i will this not happen i will not no oh fuck no but seriously like are you sitting there doing doggy style and it's i, I will not eat grain eggs and ham i will not i, I prefer not crosswords like sam i am yeah crosswords yeah that's yeah, I good crosswords yeah how about you jeremy uh i'm gonna say like when you're getting arrested <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they typically like you to pay attention <laughs> while that's happening, or at least, you know, when you're getting searched at prison. Oh, yeah. And they're like, Am I going to find anything else in your ass? <laughs> that. <laughs> that. Yeah. Or okay. when you're skiing. Yeah. That's another skiing one. Water place, or snow. Time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Either way. Bob sledding. No, that's fine if you're one of the middle guys. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. All right. Fair they're enough. They're just leaning that's yeah, what you just gotta lean that's uh-huh. what jamaica's team should have done maybe sure. they would learn some new stuff and win a medal for bobsledding all right well that is questions and preguntas again guys if you have any suggestions please send them in to us at laughing on the sidelines on our tiktok uh, q a section or at our instagram which is at laughing on the sidelines now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode this is our laughing on the sidelines draft Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and uh, we kind of got a weird situation, because the last time JP was here, he fucking won. Uh Uh-huh. The things uh, things that give you road rage is what it was. He won with Asians and women. (laughs) I'm pretty sure. (laughs) That'll get it it won every time. (laughs) You just get angry about women, seeing women, don't you? (laughs) Really, in general. Pretty Uh much. Uh, um, So anyways, this will be kind of a a first time that we're going to go ahead and and allow uh, JP to have the championship picks, even if he's a guest. It's because, you know, he's so good. So, yeah. Um, and then, uh, I think Jeremy, you, uh, did you get second last week? Uh, yes, I did. I got dead last. Uh, I, I, like to call it second was, I almost really got fifth because <laughs> I mean, the numbers weren't even fucking close, but I still had way more than you, you cocksucker. I think I, there were more likes than, uh, it had to be. <laughs> yeah. Derek last I saw had like 184 votes and I had 16 or yeah. some shit. Wow. Yeah. So anyways, he I just guess. came up with that shit off the top of his head. God, that show needs him more than you. I know. Uh, I know. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this week, uh, since I got dead last, uh, I'm going to get the uh, first pick. Uh, Jeremy is going to get the uh, sandwich picks, and then JP is going to get the championship picks back-to-back. Uh, and this week, um, this actually was a suggestion from a, uh, a listener. Um, she wanted to know, this is uh, at uh, Tay Morawski. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Are we sure uh, that's a woman? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't misgender people, Scotty. I didn't. I didn't. Fair enough. I, I checked. Uh, but anyways, she uh, <laughs> sent us a question. <laughs> they How did you pro- check? Uh, they no put shit. pronouns you, on there. Did you uh, grab her crap? I was getting ready to say, did she? Did you feel down there? Was there no penis? No. Oh, yeah. I've given my pronouns. Yeah. My pronouns are they, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, no, she uh, she sent us a, a question, which is, what is your go-to food when you're drunk? And so that inspired... A uh, a draft actually, and this uh, draft well, it hasn't yet. This may suck. It may. This may be the worst draft we've ever done. In which case, we get to blame it firmly on this, as you claim, woman. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it might go great. And nah. if so we thank her and yeah. appreciate her service. That's right. Uh, but this, so the draft is going to be um, your go-to foods when you are under the influence. Okay. So we're going to go with that. Uh, I get first pick, and. Um, God, I think there do, only do we is. We need to set some parameters here. What's Does that? this include going out to restaurants? Yes, like fast food restaurants and stuff like that, or what? I, I think it should include that. But like, if you go to Denny's or whatever, that's that seems. All right, I'll take a, that fucking pick off. Okay, or do Denny's? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're making up rules. Well, yeah. there's a difference between grabbing shit out of your own fridge. And, like, you have access to an entire restaurant's menu. Well, yeah. I think you have access to an entire restaurant's menu. I okay, just, fair I, enough. I guess, what are their, what's their bathroom situation? Single room? <laughs> single, single room. room. Single room. Single room. Very nice. Yeah, uh, that's sweet. right. Denny's has always been known for their restrooms. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Restrooms and trucker caps. Yep. Uh, this one, I think, is the overall 101. I think is the one everybody goes to, especially when they've been drinking and if you've ever been to a college party. But that is pizza fucking cold pizza do, should I do why cold? has it gotta be cold why is, yeah cold pizza uh, it's just that's pizza. the next day uh, yeah. yeah but yeah pizza pizza frozen pizza pep or pizza hut pizza you know okay pizza jeremy you get next pick uh pretty famously on this show uh mcchicken yeah <laughs> i love a good mcchicken oh no his story about <clears throat> the mcchicken is pretty fucking good um yeah how about you jp you get two in a row uh, for the first one, I'll go I, with. Uh, I could have told this. Story, Do you want to tell? I just left him fucking hanging. She, I was I waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> he and was, I was he like, was. okay, here I we just, go. He's and he's right. The story ain't bad. Nah, good story. Good story. <laughs> uh, it, it's a short story. I basically <clears throat> woke up one morning to the sound of my roommate laughing as I sat there with. Uh, let's see. I was sitting up in the chair, uh, one sock on, with my one foot up on on the footrest of the chair and uh let's see i had a, a half-eaten mcchicken still in my hand and i was wearing a long john silver's hat <laughs> i fucking love it no. not real sure where i got the hat <laughs> I mean, don't know where long... i got the mcchicken <laughs> yeah. no i remember going to, to to that but no i passed out mid sandwich <laughs> that doesn't happen to a lot of people no it doesn't Okay, JP, what is uh, your... You get two picks in a row. All right. First one, I'm just going to go with breakfast food. Okay. Is that okay? Just, just, that's a big category. No Pancakes, shit. Okay. Well, sausage, so, scrambled eggs, well, all that, that seems, stuff. Uh, and breakfast food. Well, you got to pick okay. one. I think I think, I think Bre- I pick one. Breakfast food? That's all of them. Bre- right, but you don't just eat pancakes, or you don't just eat the eggs. The fuck I don't. <laughs> you, eat, you eat pancakes <laughs> and eggs you're and sausage uh, yeah. and hash browns. I, I, say, I say you can, get, you can get pancakes. I will give you eggs and bacon or eggs and sausage. I'll take eggs and sausage yeah. for hey, a thousand, pick please, an entire Alex. Meal. Okay, I'm going to go with dinner food. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fuck you, man. Uh, dinner food's great. Yeah. It sure is. Okay. I like to eat it for so dinner. I guess, uh, you ever have dinner food for breakfast? Yes, That's great. sometimes I do that. Do you want to get pancakes for your next pick? <laughs> no. Uh, my next pick, I'm going to go with uh, donuts and chocolate milk, but they've got to be the mini powdered donuts. Oh, okay. donuts. Donuts. <laughs> the best ones were in like a giant plastic bread bag. Uh-huh. You remember those? Yeah, they don't yeah. have those anymore. Now, I know. Now Pisses you have me to get fucking the hostess kind, which are good, mm-hmm. just not as good. But yeah, okay. All right. You and your chocolate milk. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, are we back to me? We are back to you. Uh, because I don't really go out a lot, most of my shit's going to come either from fast food or at home. Uh, tortilla chips with just shredded cheese melted on them. Okay, all right. I do that shit a lot. Yeah. Or used to. Okay. I don't really drink much anymore. Yeah. Except when I do, and then I drink a lot. Uh, okay. Um, 
I'm going to go with a very, very real one for me. Uh, I'm going to go with Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Um, I, I hate to give that look twice in, in the same month, but... What? This is Who true. Who the fuck makes soup? What? what me? Are you, you drink with a hot plate? Yeah. You're sitting there fucking stirring in soup. Oh, that's a hangover cure. It's, it's really good. I'm just, just it, telling you. you say so. I'm telling you. Um, the next one I'm going to go with is... Um, I'm gonna go with uh, bowl of cereal. <laughs> that's that's okay. a that's a good one. That makes more sense. <laughs> I like bowl of cereal. Yeah, it's true. Campbell's chicken noodle soup is so thin and brothy, I couldn't even imagine getting the soup to my mouth. Oh, that's no, right. I do the condensed, and then I just don't mix any water with it. Oh yeah, just straight shot. Straight, straight, oh, straight, fuck. straight fucking about, like, noodle and chicken. Soup? Yeah. Mm, okay, yeah. Uh, Jeremy, back to you. Oh Jesus, already? Already. Oh my flying God. through this. Uh, Taco Bell tacos. Okay. Fuck. Fourth meal, they call that. That's right. I'm surprised. But yeah, uh, JP, you get two back to back. Grilled cheese. Yeah. Grilled cheese always hits the spot. That's true. It's a good one. Now, do you butter butter the bread both sides? Both sides. Yeah. Do you, you put have mayonnaise to. on it? No. That's apparently a fucking thing. And I could see that. People are psychos. Yeah. Um, mayonnaise shouldn't be a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Huh. Okay. I put, I put mayonnaise on my meatball sub from Subway. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. It's oh, fucking delicious. No. All right. Yeah, next yeah. next one. Uh, soda crackers. Just like nice. uh, soda crackers. Fuck yeah. With butter. Soda oh. soda crackers. Yeah. Uh, saltines. Saltines. Oh, okay, okay. And then you put butter on them. That's it. JP's old fashioned. I speak old people. Okay. No, I I mean it's delicious. I get I get what you're saying. You I really do. Butter your soda crackers. Well, so but, you're saying that you understand what saltines are and butter. I am no And the I, idea that one could go I'm on I'm getting ready to ask a fucking question. So I'm I'm thinking Your of saltines suck. like the pristine saltine crackers that's what you're talking about yeah what are the kind of crackers that are like people put at like a house salad that's club that's club those crackers, club okay. crackers okay. Yeah. they've already got those the are better with in. ranch <laughs> really yeah those are great yeah, those are, ranch yeah <laughs> okay all right jeremy back to you dude well that just sparked a whole fucking <laughs> array of shit <laughs> i i tend to think i have a a a whole new level of uh, flavor, better than JP. Uh, chicken and biscuit Ooh, crackers. Okay, Ooh, I could chicken. eat those with the with the squirt cheese. Oh, forget it. That's you. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Well, I I didn't add the squirt cheese. I well, don't want you don't that. Have to. Keep that off of mine. <laughs> don't put <laughs> that, that bullshit. Bad bullshit on my list. Uh, damn it. Okay. Um. I guess. Son of a bitch. It's. It's so fucking true, but you've got to go to McDonald's and get yourself the two cheeseburger meal when you're drunk. You're going to claim a whole meal. Yeah, oh, here well, he's already. It's, yeah, it's, he got on me for doing it. Mc, yeah, now McDonald's he's gonna... cheeseburger. Okay, McDonald's okay. cheeseburger. All right. That's fucking. Oh, never mind. I Not the McDouble? Wrong. Not the McDouble. Well, then you're doing it wrong. Whatever. Um, and then uh, I'm going to round or in the. My picks with uh, Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's got to be fucking Kraft, too. Yep, yep. That yep. other bullshit it's is not, not the, the same. same. Not at all. No. No. You're willing to get utensils and shit out. Oh, when yeah. When you're drunk. See, I I just grab whatever's in the fucking fridge or the cabinet. Well, it's different. I'm not drunk. I'm high. Yeah. And, and um, grandma's... You want to do a lot more things when... Grandma's boy, sure. he cooks a whole fucking tray, so mm -hmm. that's kind of how I roll. Didn't too. he just take basically everything and throw it, the fridge, oven? throw it in the oven? <laughs> For yeah. sure. He didn't have a microwave. Because yeah. so he <laughs> he's living with his grandma, and they didn't uh, have a microwave then. All right. Uh, Jeremy. Which, yes, she did. Yes, she I did. I do not believe that even old people in that day and age... I, 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 I won't! <laughs> I'm going to write a letter to my senator. Go yeah. ahead. Right now. Watch yep. the movie. Find me a microwave. Right. Dear Senator whoever. <laughs> um, last you, pick, Jeremy. Where, where was I at? Uh, we're, we're on picks still? Yeah. yeah is we, that what we're doing? This is your last one. God damn it. Okay. Because I can't pick a whole fucking meal and it needs the two things together. My favorite thing to get at a restaurant, if we go to like a breakfast place, chicken fried steak and eggs. Oh, okay. That is my... 
absolute. I can just grub on that shit. I'll, I'll call the grub monkeys over <laughs> and them, just have, have them, them keep bringing them. just keep bringing more eggs gravy. And... <sighs> That's okay. All right, and JP, you get your last pick. Uh, my last pick is McDonald's French fries, but God. they have to be fresh. That's what they have to be fresh. Oh. You're right. Nothing hits like a fresh McDonald's French fry. You're right. Ever. You're right. I totally I agree. But when I'm drunk, I actually like it a little bit rubbery. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of do. I don't know why. Okay. I, I, I think it's more. I just don't care. Yeah. At that point, and that's generally what I get at that time yes, of night. Right. You don't get people who really care about their job at three in the morning. <laughs> no. At McDonald's. In Not fact, so much. It's guaranteed that person fucking hates you. <laughs> Without a doubt. I don't know. There's a guy that uh, that works at McDonald's that listens to our show and recognized Derek when he was driving through the drive through fucked yeah. up. Nice. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been more just dismissed by <laughs> anybody than when I've been at a drive through late at night at McDonald's. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. There's a ton of honorable mentions. I'm shocked that, oh, God, yeah. that, that none of us went after. I mean, but like fucking... Just chips, a bag of chips. Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah, uh, I was going to say Doritos. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think any Pringles. Pringles. Pizza Hut. Pringles or the Pizza good. Pringles. The Pringles are good. Yeah. yeah, they're good. Just plain Pringles at that point. Sure. I don't care. Any and of those them. Pick them. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this. <laughs> they're not chips. They're they crisps. That's right. No, they use the an best, extrusion they're, process. They're the best crisps for <laughs> dipping, <laughs> the, by oh, the way. Is it really? And I get ranch dip and oh, cheese yeah. Pringles. Huh. Oh, oh, damn. See, Derek would hate God. Derek hates, hates ranch. Mm. Well, Derek, the, you couldn't I'd, tell by looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> it looks like he loves the shit. Yeah. Well, okay, I think guys. he just eats everything. Um, yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right, well, this is uh, this is our draft for this week. Again, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, and you can vote for your uh, favorite list of uh, go-to foods when you're uh, you know, drunk or high. So, And uh, whoever wins uh, gets a pat on the back and a blowjob from JP. Yeah. All right, uh, but can now. You blow yourself, JP, you're probably going to win. <laughs> you probably as is. long as I you have know, somebody the, to hold my legs, I can actually do it. Oh, my the, God. One of my favorite lines of any sitcom maybe of all time, is from Parks and Rec with Ron Swanson when he's at that restaurant and he tells the guy, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. And he stops the guy. I feel like what you heard was give is me give me a bacon. lot of bacon and eggs. <laughs> what I said was give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> and he meant it. <laughs> what was it? He set the record at the local breakfast restaurant for most eggs eaten. Last four, he didn't even get the shell off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. But, yeah, do us a favor. Go to Laughing on the Sidelines. Vote for your favorite list of uh, foods to go to. Uh, your go-to foods when intoxicated. All right. Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of a uh, particular family known as the Flying Walendas, but they are known, you know? I know of this family. Okay. Uh, they were very famous for being a family of uh, tightrope walkers. Uh, weird to call them flying when they just walk. Uh, but anyways, uh, in the 1960s, the father of the family, Carl Willenda, created a unique and heart-stopping stunt known as the Pyramid. For this stunt, four tightrope walkers were positioned uh, on a tightrope uh, with balance bars, while two others balanced on the bars, and above them, a final walker balanced on a chair. Um well, on uh, January 30th of 1962, guess what happened? <laughs> uh, while performing their signature stunt at the Shrine Circus uh, at Detroit State, uh, yeah, Detroit State Fair Coliseum, uh, the lead man on the wire, uh, Carl Walenda's nephew, Dita Ship, <laughs> there's the papers, Dita. Um, I'm assuming he was Nazi. Uh, <laughs> Good assumption. Yeah. 
Uh, he made a misstep, causing the entire pyramid to collapse. Of course, they're all hooked on to each other, too, with a, a small cable. So in case this happens, I guess everybody goes down with the ship. Uh, <laughs> an audience of nearly 7,000 people watched in horror as four of the walkers crashed to the ground. Shep and uh, Walinda's son-in-law, Richard Fawton. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to say he was a freedom fighter. He was more part of the resistance than anything. Uh, both of them died on impact. Uh, Carl's son, Mario, who was permanently paralyzed from the waist down, and uh, then Carl himself, who suffered a broken pelvis. Uh, this did not seem to really set the family back all that much, and it took a uh, tragic incident in 1962 where uh, Walinda's... Uh, daughter died uh while falling from a tightrope and uh then in 1978 march 22 1978 carl walinda himself fell to his death after falling a hundred feet from a tightrope between two buildings in puerto rico you can't say they weren't fucking asking for it honestly <laughs> you saw what happens you're on a fucking tightrope <laughs> eventually shit's gonna go wrong i stumble on shit all the time that in, in a room where I walk all the time, and that's on a floor. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so basically every member of the fucking family died doing what they love, being circus freaks. And now your <laughs> child can recreate the magic of all of these moments using nothing but a little imagination <clears throat> and Legos. Legos, step right up and see the show. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking dark. <clears throat> All right. Is uh, it really? I mean, eh, not really. Who, it's, it's who not can bad. say, you know, how many people can say that they died doing what they love? That's true. I mean, you've got to be dedicated to do that in the first fucking place. Yep. The only way I'm going to die doing what I love is if either of you guys pull out a fucking gun and shoot me. Yeah. Because yeah. I love doing this show. Nice. Yeah. The only way I'm going to die doing what I love we, is if he doesn't let go of the back of my head. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Dude, we much. work really hard to make you not like doing this show. <laughs> the fact that you love it pisses love, me off. I love doing it. Not I you. Do. Me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we're talking about Scotty. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so this week's shitty. Yeah, we want you to take okay, Scotty's good. place once we <laughs> shoot him. Yeah. Okay. This week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is... Would you rather have your spouse read Green Eggs and Ham on repeat, repeat while you are either having sex or taking a shit? <laughs> Which one would you rather do? Sex. It doesn't take as long. <laughs> That's yeah. Easy. yeah. Does she stop when you stop? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sex. <laughs> takes no time. She'll barely get through half the book. Yeah, I, you're probably right. Um, Shit, you could go through that book eight times. <laughs> Just That's true. That is a good point. I, mm -hmm. I am going to say also while shitting. Does she have to be in the same room? Yeah, for sure. What do you mean also? He said sex. I said sex. Who are you agreeing oh, with? No, Well, I'm, a, I'm agreeing you, with... Did you just assume that's what I was going to say and you were going to skip me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it. It sure does. No, I'm, my question is, does she have to be in the same room while yes. you're shitting? Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing sex. Yeah. Sex. It, you're right. It's just not going to take very much time. And and you kind of you get it over with. It's, uh, it's done. So, yeah, I'm taking sex. Jeremy? What? What one would you do? Oh, sex for sure. Yeah. Without a doubt. It would be such a welcome change to the silence that I normally experience. <laughs> That's true. Just her. Any, and honestly, if she ever, it just her, her dead eye contact that she makes with me. And if she ever does make a sound, she always is sure to reach out and put her hand <laughs> on my lip. She's learned American customs for sure. <laughs> it's because you taught it to her, huh? I sure did. Yeah. I sure did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucking great. Uh, but any updates on the um, cereal pooper, by any chance? Uh, again, cannot comment on an ongoing oh, investigation. Wow. I was it's hoping ongoing. Ongoing. And I was to be <laughs> honest with you, I think they've stopped uh, really looking. They've really? Called it, it, that case may have gone cold. Oh, <laughs> the turd no. surely did. It's gone, <laughs> it's gone cold and ashy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Started to turn white. He got away with it, even. He did. He's my new hero, honestly. Wow. 
I'm I'm very serious. Had I recognized the guy, I don't think I would have told on him. <laughs> I, I respect and admire him so much. Oh man. Oh well. I want to get his rookie card and have it autographed. Yep. However, the person that uh, Derek t- talked about uh, last episode, they found that uh, serial shitter. So I yeah. Think well, she, she got caught on camera yeah. face first. Yep, she did. But fucked anyways, up wigs. Good stuff in, in all of Wichita, That's Kansas. weird that a beauty supply store has that better surveillance better, yeah. than an FAA-secured <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. building. Uh-huh. That's true. All right. Well, anyways, guys, uh, do do uh, I don't think you guys have any uh, any dates coming up by any chance, do you? Nope. Nope? Nope. All right. Well, if you guys uh, just so happen to have a spare house, um, let us know. Yeah. We've got a Who guy, doesn't, we've right? Got a guy, yeah. right? I'm not telling about it. Uh, but if you can hear thunder in the background, it is just now storming. The thunder's rolling here in Wichita, Kansas. And so, uh, yeah, we're not sorry. It's, I fucking love it. Uh, but anyways, guys. Can um, I hear it? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, you probably can. I heard it. Uh, but we want to say thank you again, JP, for coming on. Uh, Absolutely. Thanks for having me, yeah, man. I, yeah, we, I we, love coming on and we, doing the show. I'm sure you do. Uh, we hope to see Derek back soon, depending on what his schedule is. Uh, but uh, as always, guys, thank you guys so much um, for your support, um, the positive comments and stuff like that. We really do appreciate those. Um, as always, keep you know sharing the TikToks, commenting. Um, that helps us grow. Uh, and as always, we'd like to say, uh, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, I hope you get crushed by a family of falling tightrope walkers. <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, a sandwich is just a sandwich, but a manwich is a meal. Amen. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.